Hello guys, hello class, good morning, how are you? I am Miss Fernanda, I hope that you remember me. Just kidding, I know that you remember me. So welcome to our first English virtual class. What is virtual? Uh, is virtual in Spanish. So I know things are a little bit different because we're not in school, we're in our homes, we're in our houses. Because of this situation that is happening in the world, in our country, in our in the city, um, and I think it's not going to over right away. I think it's going to continue. So we have to work as normal as possible. That's why we're making this video for you. So um, I know that we're not in school. I know that, but we have to work as normal as possible. As I said, it's like being in a school. You have to prepare. You have to be respectful. You have to pay attention and you have to be super patient. You have to take out all the things you need, you're going to need for the class, like books, notebooks, uh, pencil, pen, everything you need. Okay? So, let's start with our class. So, be patient with me because this is my first video. I know that you make TikToks all day, but not me. This is my first video. <laughs> so, be patient with me and... Uh, please, please pay attention, okay? So, I'm going to put a presentation that I've made for you. I know that looks weird. Hold on a minute, please. Hold on, hold on. Okay. Very good. So, start. Very good, guys. So, online English class for grade. Hello, guys. It's nice to be here. This is another way to teach and I'm learning a lot. As I say, this is my first video. I am learning to make videos for you, okay? So be super patient with me. So welcome, as I say, remember, it doesn't matter if you are not in a school. We need to have rules, okay? You need to prepare. So take out your notebooks and books, pencil, pen, red pen, everything you need to start with the video, okay? This is important, guys. If you need more time to continue, you have to stop the video and take your time. Uh, for example, if you're writing, if you're making an exercise, you're doing something like writing a sentence or uh, copy a definition, I don't know, and you need um, more time to do it because the video is like fast, you can stop the video and then take your time to copy, take your time to make the exercise, to do the exercise, to copy the sentence. And this is a uh, good thing about the video because you can stop, okay? Very good. So take your time, don't rush. Everything is going to be fine. Very good. So, okay, let's start with reading. I know that this is your favorite topic. So for this class, you have to take out your reading notebook. If you need to stop the video, do it and go for your reading notebook. You are going to find the meanings of the vocabulary words unit five. It's like in a school, guys. I know that you look for the vocabulary in your books, in the wonder books. So look for it and then continue. To start, you need to put the date and educating hearts and minds. This is uh, something that you knew already. So copy, put the date on it. Put educating hearts and minds and then you continue. Remember, you have to be clean and try to practice a good handwriting. What is a good handwriting? It's a um, buena escritura in Spanish. So practice a lot. You have to be clean with your notebooks. Remember, that's so, so important. Okay? So this is the page. 322 and 323 of your reading writing workshop and um, for this you're going to need you're going to to use the platform so if you need to stop the video and go to the platform and look for the words i'm waiting here okay i'm going to wait so stop the video go to the platform and then you press start okay so i put a picture in here of the vocabulary um, eight words you're going to read it you're going to copy and you're going to look for the definition the definition is in the anthology uh, page 
542. There are the definitions to look for the meanings. Okay, so it's time for you to go to the literature anthology book, page, um, I'm sorry, 542, to look for the definition, to look for the meanings, okay? So you're going to use the platform as I said, okay? Very good. I put some games in the platform. The first game is Vocabulary Practice Unit 5. Wait a minute. When you finish to copy the definitions in your reading notebook, you can play a little bit. The, the games, the game, um, it, it, the name of the game is Vocabulary Practice Unit 5. You can look for it in the platform. So it's related to the vocabulary words. So to play, for playing, you need to know the definitions. You need to copy the definitions. So if you have the definitions in here, you can look for it and you can start playing. I know that it, this is different because our games, but you know how to, to play in the computer. I, I know that you know. So look for it in the platform, Vocabulary Practice Unit 5, okay? That's the game for reading practice. Very good. If you want to stop the video and play, you can do it. If you want to play, you have, uh, you have to play right now. You can stop the video and then you, you continue the video later. If you want to continue, you can play it at the end of the English class, okay? If you want to continue with this video, you can continue and then you play later, later, sorry, okay? Very good. When you finish, imagine that we finish to copy the definitions and you play a little bit. So when you finish, let us start with our English new topic. Very good. So, the special verb to be, okay? This is a topic, a new topic of your English reteaching workbook. So, first, you have to copy the information in page 32 of your English reteaching workbook. Very good. So, take out your English reteaching workbook. Oh, this is the page. So, copy the information like in school. You know how to do it, guys. Okay? So, copy the information, read it, focus, sorry and pay super, super, super attention, okay? So, stop the video, copy the information, and read it. I put a space in here to read, okay? So, let's read, pay attention. Very good. The special bird to be. If you want to read with me, you can do it. One, two, three, go. The special bird B does not show action. It tells what someone or something is or is like. Use the form of the verb be that agrees with the subject of the sentence. Okay? Very good. So, the special verb to be. The special verb to be does not show action. It's not like eating. It's not like running. It's not like, I don't know. Sleeping is not like that, okay? Not show action. In Spanish, no muestra una acción. Just no show action. It tells what someone or something is or is like. Nos muestra cómo es o cómo luce un objeto. Lo que es o cómo luce. This the definition in, in Spanish. It tells what someone or something is or is like, okay? For example, I don't know, the pen is blue. We are using the verb to be. The pen is blue, okay? So that's the meaning of the verb to be. It's going to show um, what someone, una persona, or something, una cosa, is or is like. Eh, ¿Cómo es? O como luz. Very good. So let's continue. So let's see how can you use it. Very good. So you can use it with I, yo. So in present, 
I am. Yo soy. In past, I was. Yo era. He, she, it. He, él, she, ella, it. Eso. So, he is. He was. Él es. Él era. Ella es. Ella era. So, first, it's going to be like I, he, she, it. Present and past. I'm going to show you the present and the first column and past in the second column, okay? So, you can look for it in the English reteaching too. So, if you need to read like this, you can do it. Singular is, was. We, you, they. Nosotros, tú y ellos. Okay? Very good. We are, we were. Present and past. We we are, nosotros somos. In the past, we were, nosotros fuimos o éramos. You can use it like that in Spanish. Remember, Spanish is a lot of words, okay? So, plural or noun. Plural are and plural in past is were. Okay, I'm going to explain this um, in the next, in the next um, step. Example. I'm going to give you my example. I was a computer teacher. I was a computer teacher. Yo era una maestra de computación. Now, I am an English teacher. Ahora, soy una maestra de inglés. It shows um, lo que yo era, what was it, and what it's like, okay? So, let's watch a video. I found a video for you, so let's watch it. Oh, Hold on a minute, please. Uh, hold on, hold on. This is a little bit difficult. I don't know how to do it. So, hold on, please. <clears throat> okay. I'm making some tests and some proofs to, to, um, to the video. So, pay attention. I have the video here. Very good. This is going to be useful for us. So pay attention. Lesson one. The, the verb, verb to be. be. I am. She is. He is. It is. We are, you are, they are. Now how about a little practice? The book, yellow. What do you think? The book is yellow. Very good. If you think that, you're correct. She, a teacher. She is a teacher. Very good. I think that is understood, uh, right? There are a lot of few examples, but it's okay. Very good. So, we've watched the video already, and we can continue. Very good. Now, you have to answer page 32 of your English reteaching. Use the information that you copy in your English notebook. If you need uh, to read again the information or read again uh, the things in the video, you can do it. So you have to answer the page 32. Do it by your own. I know that you're going to do it well. So this is super important. Write the verb in the parenthesis that agrees with each underlined in subject. Example, this tree is a maple tree. Este árbol es un árbol de, es un maple, es un árbol de maple. Y es are, the branches, what is branches? Las ramas, o los, las ramas, um, close to the ground. What do you think? Is or are, the branches is close to the ground. It's not correct because branches, it's a lot. So, the branches are close to the ground. So, the right answer is are. The branches are glo uh, close to the ground, sorry. So, let's do it. Um, 
So stop the video and do the page 32, please. Remember, this is super important, guys. This is super important. It's super important for you, for this topic, to read and listen the time and if the word is plural or singular. You're going to uh, you're going to uh, read in the sentence if the sentence is like past or present, and then you choose the verb to be, and you're going to look for the time, and you're going to look sorry for the plural or singular. Listen to me. If something is like a lot, it's plural. If it's just one, it's singular. So it change. It's if it's just an object, a person, or a thing, just one, you have to look for it in the, in the table and you have to look for the singular way. So, if it's plural, like a lot, you have to look for it and you have to choose the verb to be that fits in that definition. So, in Spanish, guys, recuerden, para este tema es súper importante, súper importante, que lean muy bien y que escuchen muy bien el tiempo, si es pasado, presente o futuro, y si es la palabra o el sujeto o la cosa o lo que vaya a ver en tu oración es plural o es singular. ¿Ok? So, it's super important for this topic to read and listen the time. And if it's like um, the subject, the thing, or the noun, I don't know, the word, it's plural a lot or singular just one okay so that's the way you're going to know what verb to put okay very good try to do it i'm going to check in our go to meeting session and if you have any questions let me know okay so try to do it by yourself try to do it by yourself and remember that uh, this day we have our meeting in go to meeting session or in Spanish, it's like video llamada, and you can do it by yourself. I know that you're going to do it well, so you have to remember the time, remember past, present, and future, and the word if it's plural, a lot, or singular, just one. Okay, so do it, and if you have any questions, we see you on, on the afternoon and we can talk about the, the sentence and we can correct, okay? So, guys, that is all for today, guys. Thank you for your attention. Thank you so much for your attention, okay? Listen to me. Uh, I know that you work on Monday. I ask you some questions and I give you the spelling word list. So, it's the same. The spelling word list, you have to look for the definitions in the in the dictionary, okay? And if you don't have your dictionary, you can use your, your computer, the internet, but with your mom and your dad, okay? You need to su supervision of an adult person, okay? So, look for the definitions, okay? That's and the homework for yesterday, yesterday homework. So, look for the definitions of the spelling word list, I give it to you. And in reading, I ask you to read again Apples to Oregon. I know that last week a few of you just read it. So read it again and answer the questions. To, uh, today we're going to answer all the, all the questions and we're going to read it together. And we can make up just one answer, okay? So, uh, as I say, that's all for today guys thank you for your attention thank you for being super patient i know that we are not practicing a lot of english because we're in home but try to to do it try to watch videos try to watch uh, like movies in english with the with the caps in english too so you have to practice it's like me i'm not practicing a lot but you have to do it you have to practice. That's why I'm tumble like this. Por eso me estoy trabando tanto, porque no he practicado. I'm not practicing right now. So, practice a lot, a lot. So you can be like fluent, like clear, and then you're going to be ready, okay? 
So, remember to be good with mom and dad and do your homework. Recuerda ser bueno con tu mamá y papá y hermanos también y hacer tu tarea. This is your additional homework for you. Be good with mom and dad. They are doing the best they can, okay? And do your homework, of course. We, we are back in class, not, not in school, but virtual class, as I say. So, I miss you guys. Hope to see you soon. Goodbye. Okay, so that's all for today. We see you in the afternoon in our go to meeting session. Okay, so hold on a minute. Thank you for watching, guys. If you need, um, if you if you have any questions or something, uh, we have these sessions. First is for A and then it's for B. Okay. At six o'clock for A, seven o'clock for B to answer these questions. But remember, you have to work first, okay? So, goodbye, guys. See you in the, net, in the next uh, video. I'm making it, and every time I'm going to be better, okay? So, be super patient with me. Be super patient, super, super patient with me. <laughs> and I miss you all. Thank you for watching. Goodbye, guys.